incredible, this transformation. Absolutely amazing. Amazing? You've ruined them! I mean, you've turned Roger into Liberace! Let the music flow through you. Be at peace. Tell me you did that. T tell me you called the, the shock treatments off. Hart, I, no, I didn't he bother was... denying it. Dinah. She didn't call anything off. They damn near electrocuted him, Dinah. <sighs> you should see him, Hart. He doesn't even look like a father. He's like Mr. Rogers on a bad day. Look at me. Look at me and tell me that she's she, she's wrong. I, I, I... No, no, no. I asked you a simple question, and I want a simple answer. You led me to believe he was okay. You knew that he got the shock treatments, didn't you? Didn't you? Yes, I knew. I, it, it couldn't be. Who? Oh. Well, look, it's her. What are you... On earth are you talking about, Zachary? It is. It's got to be. You're not talking about who I think you are. Yeah, hey, I have to know for sure. perfectly well what it is. You're thinking with your heart again instead of your head. Just remember what happened before. Yeah, yeah but that's no. also something think. else. Zachary, think! You're right. You're right. How long has it been since you've slept? I can't remember. Certainly not within the last 36 hours. No. You've been under a great deal of stress. It's time for you to get the rest you need to do what you're supposed to do. You're right. You're right. It, it couldn't have been her. I, my eyes, they must be playing tricks on me. I, time to get some sleep. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's time. That trouble you, uh, you spoke about. Yes? I understand you don't know what it is, but... I think I'm ready. You'll have to be. Sleep well, Zachary. take this opportunity to publicly thank Dr. Dobson 
for bestowing on me a most precious gift. You have restored in me my love of Mozart. And I, when I leave here, I'm going to work very hard advocating the res restoration of funding for musical education in our nation's schools because, let's face it, you know, a music-loving child is never, ever a violent child, and we owe it to our children. Thank you, Roger. Oh, thank you, Dr. Dobson. Hmm. Leo. Leo, Leo. Oh, my dear, dear old friend. Oh. It is so good to see you. Same, same here, Raj. I want you to know, Dr. Dobson, that this man and I go way, way, way back. Raj, really? uh, listen, I just, I just want to stop by and see how these uh, shock treatments were affecting oh, you. Oh, that's so nice of you. Yeah, I, you know, I felt really bad about leaving you alone with these quacks <laughs> the last time we were together, so I came back with some cash in case you want to bust out of here and make a getaway. You mean I have cash? Yes, Raj, you've got cash. That's wonderful, Leo. I'd like the cash. All of it. There's no excuse for rearranging a man's brain cells without his consent. That's what you did, you know. Hart, please, listen to me. It's not what you think. <sighs> yeah, right. Look, let her tell her side of I the story. I know her side. Blake, will you just shut up? Go ahead, Dinah. You know, it's not like I haven't had a lot on my mind lately. My mother just died, remember? I had to plan her memorial service, so please forgive me if my mind isn't operating on all cylinders. But you led, you led me to believe that everything was okay. I got there too late. All right, Dr. Dobson had already started Turning the treatment. Turning into tofu? She swore to me that it couldn't hurt him. And, and when were you gonna tell me that you were lying to me, Dinah, when? I wasn't lying to you. Not exactly. Just kind of omitted the truth, didn't you? I was going to tell you tonight, but people kept interrupting. Where are you going? I'm going to go see my father. Well, you can't go now. This visiting hours are over. And I don't care about visiting hours. Hart, wait. Well, Hart, maybe now you'll figure out that that cruel woman isn't the one for you. Hey, Bridget. Oh, hey. What you got there? White socks? You a White Sox fan? Oh, yeah, go Sox. Nah, see, I would have figured you for Cubs fan all the way. Nah, nah. You know, Cubby's got the flash, but the Sox, they got the heart. Sure, I guess, but what surprises me the most, I wonder how some of these guys can suit up every day knowing that they're going to lose. That's amazing to me. Well, see, that's the beautiful thing about baseball is anybody can win at any time. All it takes is one. <laughs> Sure. You know, step up to the plate and be patient and wait for your pitch and then smack it out of the park. We still talking baseball here? No. Huh? Starting to sound a little, I don't know, personal? It's not over till it's over. That's all I'm saying. If you're looking for Jay, he's not here. Uh, I did come here to see Jay, but uh, actually, I'm, I'm glad you're here. Mm. We have some unfinished business. Wow. Thank you, Leo. Hey, Adam? Adam. Oh, most exciting music making, oh, Roger. Thank you. Here, what are you doing? You know, now you can visit your grandchild in Houston. Wow. Roger. Uh, 500 bucks. You know, Thanks. This is for that skein of wool that you've been wanting. Roger, what are you doing? Hey, 
Now you can buy that set of Shakespeare. Roger, thanks. Yeah, sure. For pity's sake, what are you doing, Rog? Here. This, remember that operation? I'm, I'm, I've been thinking about that. What have you done to you? my client? Why are you so upset? Upset? Look! This I mean, you've, is, he's worse than Liberace. Cool. You've turned him um, into a, a whacked-out hippie uh, Gandhi. It's... It's Raj, <laughs> Raj, will you stop with this philanthropy, please? Leo, all money has ever done in my life is get me into trouble. Yes, but this money was supposed to get you out of here. I don't want to get out of here. I'm very happy here. Look, uh, excuse me, Leo. Everybody, um, I just, I'd like you to share in my good fortune. Oh, oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Sure. Oh, thank you. 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 Hey, Michelle. What's up? Nothing. Well, you look pretty bummed for nothing. Uh, it's got to be something. What do you care? Hey, I'm not the bad guy in town, Michelle. Look, Jay, I just want to be alone. I just happen to be one of the world's greatest listeners. Maybe I could help. You can't. Come on, try me. I'm sick of saying goodbye to people. Uh-huh. That's it? That's it. That's why I'm bummed. Thanks for listening. You're a big help. Uh, who? What? what? Who have you said goodbye to? My dad. My mother. Vanessa. <laughs> yeah, I guess goodbye is one of those buzz wrecker words. Serious negative connotations. Goodbye. Michelle, look, I was just out in the lake taking a swim. But when I saw your face, I, uh, I saw a woman who, did, who was looking to have her whole night ruined. And so I got out. Well, thanks for the sweet thought, but I came down here because I was hot and sweaty, and so I thought I'd go for a swim, and that's what I'm going to do. Well, you shouldn't swim alone, Michelle. I am so sick of people telling me what I should and shouldn't okay, do. Okay, okay. I mean, shouldn't you be studying? Don't you have a test? Go study with Dahlia. You are in one evil mood. I, you know what? You deserve to be alone. You know, I was ready to kill you when you started getting on me about my phrasing. I didn't know you had such a tender nerve. Yeah, well, you had a lot of nerve even going there with me, you know. But I have to admit, I tried it your way, and uh, you were right. And it worked. Yeah, it was, <laughs> it was better. It was. Good. Well, I'm glad. So I just wanted to thank you. You're welcome. You know, I don't know any musicians that I could think of. No, not one. They don't need any kind of training or 
practice or lessons or notes. Holy including so me. Perfect, okay. Including me. Battle of Hastings, 1066. How's that? Okay. Um, who, who sank the Spanish Armada? I... Uh, Frank Drake. Francis Drake. Oh, well, he may be Francis to you, but to his buddies, I bet you he was Frank. Yeah, let's just, uh, let's just write Francis on the test. I think we'll be fine that way. I'll bet you didn't even think I studied, right? Well, I had my doubts. <laughs> Sorry, Marcus. It's think tank time. We gotta get me ready for the old test tomorrow. Oh, that exam is gonna get you into college, right? That's the one? Yeah. Anyways, appreciate your understanding on this. Uh, don't mind me. Um, I'm just gonna take care of some laundry. I'll stay out of your kid's way. <laughs> I hope you understand how much you're doing for me, Delia. Really. Ross, no, okay? Blake, please get out of my way. Please don't. Your father could have killed Dinah with that drug. Isn't well, that true? Well, he didn't, Ross. That is the point. I mean, Dinah caught on after a while, and, and she didn't suffer any after effects. She is her old self. My father isn't. He is not his old self at all. Even though you know all about Dinah, you're still taking your father's side on he this. He doesn't have a side anymore, Ross. That's what I'm trying I to tell you. I know a little bit about this treatment, all right? It is a medically appropriate treatment. You didn't see him. I know I didn't. Come sit down. Let's not get all bent out of shape about it. Yeah, well, my father always had the quickest mind. Yes, but he uses it for the worst possible purposes. But he was capable of great things. I mean, you sure, he completely went off the track sometimes, but... Sometimes? Ross, he had a, a power and a strength that I had come to, to rely on, and to see him like this is just... I know. Let's keep this in perspective, though. Would you be feeling this way, and would you be saying this if Dinah had been permanently hurt by that drug? Are you mad at me I, 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 for, for not telling you about the laundry? Well, I just track. wish that you had, honey, that's all. I know, I'm sorry. The thing I can't figure out is why didn't Dinah say anything about it? I mean, what this amounts to is attempted murder. I know. He's trying to poison his own wife. Is there nothing he won't do? It is so wonderful to look at you. You both look so good. And you look... Really good, too. He does, well, doesn't he? Or... Thank you, ma'am. I feel good. But there's something what? that... What? Well, there's just something different about you. Well, that's not necessarily such a bad thing, let's face it. I mean, that's the point. I feel completely different. What happened to you? Uh, well, you're going to have to talk to Dr. Dobson about the specifics of all that ECT stuff. But uh, all I know is I woke up feeling different. <laughs> But you really feel good. Oh, yeah. I mean, I feel wonderful. Wonderful. That brings me to what I wanted to talk to you both about. Listen. You know, we have all done some very hurtful, horrible things to each other and said things. And mostly me. And I'm going to spend the rest of my life trying to make it up to you. 
Dad. What, son? <clears throat> What's going on here? What do you mean? Do you remember the hearing? No. No. I don't. But I heard about the hearing. And I want to tell you that some things are better off being forgotten. Listen, I intend to plant a window box. Now, Dr. Dobson has given me permission. I know, I know, it sounds nutty because it's very late in the season, let's face it. But I have been doing some reading up on all of the uh, different kinds of ivy, and some of them are very hardy. And if it wouldn't be too much trouble, I wonder if I could give you a list and uh, you could pick me up some. I'm coming! Hang on! Okay, Jay. Uh, what was the significance of the Magna Carta? The significance of the Magna Carta, and it's pretty doggone significant, let me tell you, is that it was the first credit card accepted at the Red Lion Pub in Liverpool. Ah, <laughs> very funny. What? You mean that's not the answer? No. <sighs> It was the first written constitution. Oh, 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 that was my second answer. Yeah, you bet. Yeah, it guaranteed rights to the king's subjects. I don't even think you're listening to me. Tell me, what would I have gotten if I would have gotten that answer correct? Well, aside from the fact that it's uh, the basis of our common law and uh, constitution, it's exactly what happens to you when your sorry butt gets hauled off to jail. Jay. I think I was just insulted. <laughs> Marcus is right. What, you think I have a sorry butt, too? Oh, come on, Jay. You know, you're cracking a lot of jokes here. You're not doing so hot, okay? You're definitely plunking the test. Dolly, Dolly, I'm gonna ace this test. Don't worry about it. All right, here we go. What about those round hits, huh? Oliver Cromwell's homeboys, they uh, opposed the monarchy and overthrew it mid-16th century. Wow, where'd you learn that? Harvard. <laughs> A window box will be just the ticket. Getting things to grow has been really appealing to me lately. I don't know why. Oh, I saw this magazine article on, uh, um, oh, come on, come on. What's the word? Oh. Flowers? No, 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 no. It's, there's a very, very specific word. <laughs> come on. Gardening? No, it's, it's, it's an easy word. It's, it's not difficult at all. Why can't I remember it? Don't, don't worry oh, about it. God. It's just on the tip of my brain. Is it planting? Maybe? No, no, it's just... <sighs> slipped away. It's... Dad, Dad, it's okay. No. It's okay. No. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, boy. <laughs> Isn't this silly? Of course it's okay. You're absolutely right. It's all right. It's all right. I mean, it's what's in a word, you know? <laughs> Just a collection of letters, valueless, unless we need to convey meaning. <laughs> I'm rambling. I've been doing that of late. <laughs> rambling away. <laughs> but no matter, you know, because I feel so... So much better than I have ever felt in my life. <laughs> what about the last four months do you remember, Roger? Uh, where are we now, October? September. September? Of course, September. I don't know what made me say October. It just slipped out. Uh, okay, so we'll go back four months. Where does that take us? Middle of May. Middle of May. What happened in the middle of May? <clears throat> You don't remember shooting Hart? Oh, that. You remember that? No, I, I don't remember that, but Dr. Dobson told me about it. She told me that I thought that I shot you and that I was being delusional. You thought you shot me? Human mind is more complex than we ever give it credit for, isn't it? <sighs> to think that my heart 
could ever be so dark as to shoot anyone, much less you. I mean, it just makes me shudder. It made us all shudder. I believe you, Dinah. And I want you to know that I forgive you for sleeping with my wife. And I forgive you too, Dinah. Listen, who could blame you? Look at her. She's so beautiful and loving and caring. While, okay. we're, while we're trying to remember the last four months, um, do you recall uh, cleaning out my bank accounts and transferring all my money to the Cayman Islands? Stop it, Dinah. It's all right. It's all right, Hart. You know, the past can be very instructional if we look at it as a rearview mirror, you know, to see what we've left behind. But if we become obsessed with that rearview mirror, we just miss what's coming. I'm you not know? obsessed. I was just asking. Good. All right. I just... I'm so grateful for the changes that have occurred within these walls. Horticulture! That's the word! Can you believe it? Horticulture! Come on. Come on back. Hey! What? Who's taking this test, him or me? Well, unfortunately, you are, but, um, I mean, it looks like Marks could do this in his sleep. Oh, no, so, uh, Dahlia, don't tell me you're falling for that Havid stuff. And it's not stuff. It's, it's called intelligence, which I know you have, and if you don't start using it, you're not going to be going to Springfield U this year, which is a long way from Harvard. Dahlia, Dahlia, look, I don't mean to tick you off here, but I learned all this stuff way back. I mean, I know it. I still memorized it. It's all floating around in the old gray matter. All I have to do is tap into it. It'll come right back to me. Hmm. It's just a matter of that, you know? It's like riding a bike. You know, you get on it once, you never forget. Yeah, I don't think so. I, you'll see. You'll see. I'm gonna take this test, slam on it, and once I do, you'll be sorry because you won't be there to take the credit for it. Oh, what? Preschool's over? You know, Jay is gonna completely bomb out. I mean, just go down in flames. It's, it's over. Couldn't happen to a nicer guy. <sighs> so did you really go to Harvard? Yeah. Elliot House. Oh, what was your major? It was history, but I never got a chance to finish. Oh, wait, you dropped out? Yeah. After my second year. Why did you do that? Well, I started picking up a lot of gigs at night around Cambridge and Somerville, and that blossomed into a nightly thing in Boston, which blossomed into something in New York, and I realized if I really wanted to do this and play and be serious, I needed to go where the serious cats were, so I'm headed to Europe. Yeah, a lot of the great ones went there, right? And I really wanted to be great. You know, when I landed in Paris, I felt like this is it. I mean, this is right. I'm home. So, what, you didn't miss school at all? Yeah, I did. I missed school, but I didn't really miss listening to stories about Disraeli and Bismarck and Stalin and Gavrilo Princip and, you know, I mean, these are a lot of real heavy hitters in Europe, sure, but none of them really spoke to me. Nobody really inspired me, you know what I mean? Yeah, I know. Mm. And also being there, too, I got a chance to live with some of the unheavy hitters in Europe, and. That education was much, much, much bigger than a diploma's worth. So what brought you back here? Well, a lot of things, but that's a conversation for another time. Needless to say, I really enjoyed school, and I'll finish up when I get a chance. When, do you think? After my first, no, after my second grade. Night. See ya. See you just a little bit later in a person daydream. 
I'm gonna, I'm gonna go lie down, okay? You're all right? No, I'm fine. I'm just I'm tired. It's normal. Are you gonna come up? No, I am going to come up later because I'm going to go over to Midland Hills and talk to Dr. Dobson Why? and Roger because I want to see what's going on. Please right? don't, Ross. Honey, I won't be able to sleep if I don't know what's happened. He was given a terrible treatment. That's what happened. Yeah, but people don't completely change with just one of those treatments. Something's not right here. I just want to find out what it is. That's all. I'll be home soon. Roger, you hated it here. You tried to escape three or four times, remember? I must have really taxed your patience, both of you. Look, I believe you, Dinah. All I can tell you is that right now, I feel that ECT treatment was the best thing that's ever happened to me. Okay, people. It's time for your visitors to say goodnight. Oh, listen, it's been such a wonderful visit. Thank you so much for coming. I'll see you to the door. Oh. Thanks, son. Come back soon. Oh, no. And often. And don't forget my ivy, all right? I'll, I'll bring you the ivy. OK. Horticulture. Can you believe it? Oh, boy. Oh, listen, next time you come, I want to show you my drawings. You've started drawing? Well, not yet, but I intend to begin very soon. Very pleased to see you. That man is not my father. Yeah, he's changed completely. He's a different person. One treatment did this to him? Just one? Well, I admit the change has been very dramatic. I was surprised at first myself. Change? He's completely different. You know, I've been studying your father's medical history, and I concluded that the drug Lonitrot, which your father took fairly recently, could have exacerbated the results. And don't you think you should have known this going in? Well, believe me, we tested your father thoroughly. Excuse me. Thanks for coming. Heart. No, no, no. That is not my father, Dinah. The, the man's a wreck. I mean, he can't even say words. You let this happen to him. Now, wait a minute. I was watching Roger in there, and the change in him is such a complete 180 that I am beginning to think... You know, you know, you know what? You know what? I don't care what you think. I found you again. 